So side control. What I want to do under his head, all right, not his arm, not this. I mean, eventually, if you can get this, this is actually pretty good because then you can get under and start to take the back, right? But generally, he's not going to let you do that. So you're going to come under the head. I'm going to grab his armpit right here. If he has a gi or clothing, you grab by his shoulder and you, what I'm going to do is grab his armpit. I'm going to pull his armpit in as my shoulder makes him look the other way. He cannot escape if he is looking that way. He has to turn into me to escape. If he tries to escape looking the other way, I have his back. Not in a good way. You know. <laughs> so, so anyway, this is number one. Number two, this elbow pinches his hip. Right? So I'm blocking him from scooting out this way, from hip escape. Because his escape is going to be a hip escape. Go ahead, hip escape. Exactly, right. Get knees in, square up. That was the car. He can sweep me, whatever. Standing pace. So I'm here and I'm here. Now my knees are in. My knees are in, my chest is chest. Chest to chest, my knees are in. I'm on my toes. This is 100% control. If I take both my legs back, this is 100% pressure, but less control. One knee, one knee in. One knee out is 50-50. I got a little mix of both. I kind of like this. This is kind of where I hang. Because I can give pressure or I can control. See, I got his hip locked with my knee and his elbow. My knee and his elbow are locking his hip. My hand is locked in his armpit or shoulder, deltoid. My shoulder is in his chin. Look facing that. See how my body, I'm just doing a little bit like this. So I'm like this and I'm like this. My head's down. This is good side control. From here, so many things can happen. You can just push this, start to work the head and arm choke. I can get the knee on the belly, get him out, and all this come up. All this sucks. All this sucks for him. <laughs> it all starts with under his head, find something. Then my shoulder has to now find my hand. See my hand on my shoulder? I want them to meet. And you can even get a submission there. Okay? We're going to practice side control. Try, try both. Try this. Try knees in. Try knees out. And find how much more pressure. I can probably feel 50 pounds heavier just by putting all my weight in the right spot. Okay? <laughs> so um, we're going to practice that. Let's just, just do that. Just, you know, hand, armpit, shoulder, and his chin, elbow on the hip, and then... Play with your knees, in, knees out, see how that works. And the guy on the bottom, just, you know, try to breathe. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about the other night. Guys, 20 seconds. 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 It's still it's slow. Pressure on slow in it. Uh, yeah. Hit yeah. Don't go too far forward. You can roll you. Stay chest to chest. Stay that way. You can roll you. This shoulder, this is blocking his hip. Right? This is what's driving him to his face. So you want to get this all the way up under and grab his hip. This hand, no, this hand, grabs there, pulls everything in, and drives this shoulder into his face. So it's better if you're hitting the other side. Put in your weight. Chest on oh, his chest. So you're trying your chest into his chest. Try doing it with one leg out, two legs out, both knees in. So pull, drive the shoulder. Put your shoulder on the mat. That's it. Yeah, it's pressure. Drive with your hip. That was good. I thought that would be much more easier. Wow. Another thing is if you drive your shoulder into his jaw, like you're trying to put it on the mat. Oh, so that makes it, right? That's the one that makes it. Let's, okay. Let's do a fun one next with the double ankle sweep. There's some stuff like, um, we'll come back to some of the stuff. Body will take on, we just did that with your clothes. We did clothes, you know? Isn't that? 
someone's center of gravity. They're over you. Go ahead. Let's say I take a lousy shot. Let's say he snaps me down. Let's say he's going for a guillotine. He snaps me down. Oh. Well, what can I do? I know I can do a single. I can do a double. I can kind of... One thing I can do is come up. Turn the corner. I'm not going straight. I'm turning the corner. That way, where my head is. Okay? Let's just practice that for like 30 seconds and then we'll move on to a fun sweep. sweep. Double leg takedowns, 30 seconds. A couple times each. If you're new to it, guys, here's the thing. If you're new to shooting, heel, toe, knee. Heel, toe, knee. Up. So if you're new to this at all, do that first in open space. Pretend like you're wrestling. Heel, toe, Knee. And the other foot just comes right after it. Front knee, not rear knee. Uh, right. One, one foot one. at a time. Heel first. Toe. Knee. The other foot slides right up. Slide that other foot up. Yep. Yeah? Just like you're walking like this. <laughs> go. Try it. Try it. Yeah. Let's go. You want to get a little bit closer. Wait, because remember, no. I can actually yeah, this pull my way through him. Just that's, that's oh, Come on. <laughs> no, I need to take him. Let me take him yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, other one. Now, other one. Here. This one's going to your head. Yeah. In. Yeah. As this swings yeah. over, yeah. I'm cutting this no, knee in, yeah. pulling him yeah. close, yeah. and driving him yeah. this way. I don't want to throw him that slow. He was talking about the QAT. Move this way. You know, here, you don't even need to go that far. Look, what? Good. You're going to do that first. You need a little pop or else none of this is shot. So we're going to fall. So you don't want your knee to be in front here because now you're really struggling. Put that knee on the ground. Even having your foot between. No, 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 no. You do it, and I'm going to be standing right beside. No problem. We bring it 50 times. So this one we're going to step in. Ready? 
This knee needs to go to the ground. Yeah, this goes right. to the ground. Knee down. Don't no. get back Drive up. shoulder to the hip. One foot right. motion. Drive with your head. Yeah. Step in. Heel. Two. Yeah. And then to your right. Go standing here. Heel. Right. 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 Toe. Pivot this leg up. Collect them. This knee's going to go on the right. And you're going to swing this leg up and wrap. That's it. So the motion, and this is something you want to practice. So I come here. Boom, boom, boom. Swing. Drop my heel. Boom. And this is swing. And all I'm doing is turning the corner. Boom. Swing. Yeah, go. Keep going. Don't. Don't stop. So you gotta, you gotta be okay. There's no such thing as putting this knee on the ground. So you swing the leg over. Split. Yeah. Drive so the knee on the ground because you're gonna skip it around. Hold it. When you down, just when you hold it, when you grab the ball, force him. So you just gotta go close so that you. His weight over here. Weight is now on your slide, and then drive it to the wall. No, no. Why are you kicking over the leg? Better. Yeah. Towards me, Hunter, this way. Block his knee with this hand. Block his knee. Now come this way. Cut this one in. Come this way. Towards me, Hunter. There you go. That's it. You got it, buddy. Get them out. All right, All right guys. We're going to move on. Yeah. We're good. 12.30. Oh, wow. Hour and a half. We're halfway done. We'll move Get the leg out. We're going to move quick. We're gonna move quick. Next thing, guys, is a fun sweep from guard. It's called the double ankle sweep. So when you're in someone's guard, he stands up. Let's say one way for him to escape is to stand up. So let's say he stands up. <laughs> I grab his ankles like this. If he makes the mistake of keeping his feet near me, I grab his ankles, I take my knees in, and I thrust with my hip. From here, I can either come right up to mount, or I can stand in base and get away. So let's just do that. Let's just get to mount. So he stands up. I grab his ankles, and then I put my knees like underneath him. Like I bring my feet by his head. So I kind of like unwrap, like, like I, 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 I unwrap my feet and I push. And he falls. And then just hand here. Shoot this hand up, help you, and here I am. Okay? Double ankle sweep, it's called. I'll do it one more time. This is fun because, you know, you move around a little bit more, and it's pretty easy, it's no energy. This is a lazy, lazy move. Grab the feet. Now all I'm gonna do is unleash my feet, and then push my feet, you know, back kind of up. Okay? If you cannot rear break fall, be very careful doing this one because you got to be able to break. So the person doing the pick, just give them pressure and let them break fall. If you want to do it, maybe. Go ahead, guys. Pair up. We'll push this for real quick. We're going to run through everything. I'm going to try to get done by 1 or 1.15. And then um, we'll cover a foot lock and then take questions. You got to roll, Hunter? Oh, all right, buddy. Good. Good work, man. Good seeing you. I'll be back. Let you beat. Okay. So, See you Thursday. Uh, all right. So, uh, <coughs> you're going to be. All right. Uh, uh, you're in the guard. Yeah. I am trying up. to yeah. get up. Mm -hmm. I'm getting up. Yeah. You're getting up. I'm getting up. Grab his ankles. Guard on me. Push your feet down. All right. So, I'm going to try to stand up. Behind you. What you guys will do is because I'll try to stack you. Together. So, high five me. Grab my ankles first. Come on up. Come out. Yeah. Relax yourself down. Yeah. Right? Okay. And then grab his ankles. Pull. Do it again. Push. Push his body down. Now, one hand back. You got it. One hand right here. Back. So here. Nice. High five. Stand up. 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 High five his head to get him yeah. out. Yeah. That's a good like rule. Yeah. Like use that momentum. That, as soon as he starts standing up, you go for it. Go for it. Okay. Now high five me. One hand behind you. Your right hand behind you. Left hand high five me. Get him out. Wonderful. Uh, Ten more seconds, guys. We're gonna move on. Okay. You want Jeff? We don't want to pull guard from standing. Right? Oh. No. no. Yeah. Oh, we will do it. You want to do a guillotine choke then? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 
the real thing. You <laughs> throw your back. You did the right thing. You said, huh? <laughs> that's what you got to do. When you fall like this, make sure you're stable. Okay. So you don't get tight to shot. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't call anybody surprised. I saw you roll down. That's a break fall. It's not really a fall. It's more like a drop and roll. No, actually, no. What this is done, it's not break and fall when your butt hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somebody just slams you down on your back. That's a real break fall. So you have to exhale. Yeah, exhale. So you're yeah. not And your chin has to stay correct. Correct. So when you right, fall, and you go, huh. All right, guys, we're right. in. And then you did that. Shifting gear is going to cover a choke now, a guillotine choke. Yeah, yeah. Focus, focus. All right, guys, we're going to cover a guillotine choke now. Again, anything that you don't feel confident on, mark low on your paper or put a star or mark it however you want. And over the next, when's your friend coming for the test? Like a year from now? or No, September. September. So between now and September, whenever you're not wonderful. Is well, we're, we're not going to be wonderful. Ah! Yeah. Okay. You have I'll move out in a couple Sorry, months. <laughs> we're going to skip to the guillotine choke, okay? What did we just do? Double ankle sweep, thank you, from guard. <clears throat> the next, we're going to skip a couple and go right to the guillotine choke, because you guys in Wing Chun land, guillotines are going to present themselves everywhere. So I'm going to show you a guillotine from standing. What does it say in your paper? Is it standing or guard? Uh, that's standing. Guillotine and what? Standing. standing, OK. Two ways I like to set up the guillotine. One is I take his head and I shove it underneath the other one. I just take his head like a football and I just shove it underneath the other one. The other way is I just take this hand and just switch my position to the guillotine. So either way, I can shove him to one side or keep this. This all comes from this clinch. All right, this is a clinch. Neck. Muay Thai clinch is actually up top by the head. Muay Thai, if you see Muay Thai fighters, they, their clinch is up here. Boom. Boom. They grab the top of the crown. But wrestlers will grab here, kind of up to you. I kind of like somewhere in between. So I'm here controlling his head. My elbow, I like my elbow in his chest. See this? This controls the distance. See this elbow in his chest? So when I wrestle, I'm not like this. I am like this. See this? And I got my hand under his elbow. Okay? My head's in his head. Now I'm going to set up the guillotine. Okay. All right. The grip I make on the bottom is like this. And I'm going to squeeze and pull up. What gets the choke is my arm on one side and my rib on the other. So when I get it, I come. And I'm going to take, i got a nice bite on his neck. I can tell it's a carotid. Here's my hand. Right underneath his, right on his heart. Everything's about heart and love in jiu-jitsu, right? And I'm going to just squeeze. None of this, oh, and all this fancy <laughs> stuff. No, it's just, here's guilty. <clears throat> I'm a lazy jiu-jitsu player. I don't like moving. So all I'm going to do, even if it's this side, the key is this. Get this small. This is like a triangle. I want to eliminate the space in his neck. So I just come right over. And this is key. I can't do a guillotine like this. Wait, deep. Deep. This is that. And then I'm going to come right into him and squeeze. I'm not falling back. I'm not moving. I'm moving as little as possible. Okay? We're not doing the, the first one. Do either one. Do both. Okay. You can either do, I'm here. And also, another key detail. See this elbow here? My left elbow? I want it higher than his shoulder. His defense is this. This is how he gets out, he looks up, and now he can take my he can do a lot. Right. So to prevent his arm from this, because now I gotta let go. I don't have it anymore. I get my elbow or arm right here blocked. And I can just squeeze. Okay? Let's try that. We'll move on. 27. Don't be easy right. on each other. This choke comes on very fast. Um, have fun. <laughs> the next longer now.
Front is one first. So this hand, one's going to choke him. The other hand's just going to come down. Make sure you're trying to pull it up. Make sure you're trying to pull it through your chin. You're in your restaurant. Which way do you like to go? Do you want to shove this head under this arm? Or do you want to go up? Happens very quick. Now, do the other one where you're going to kind of do the other Watch and then you're just gonna. Uh, yeah, yeah, fine. There's a lot of variations. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the stuff. The choke is fine. So what is if I have here? I kind of just. Closer, closer to you. Okay. You want to pass it right? Right. You want to make sure. I don't know. Take a look. You grip this. Okay. Yes. And this elbow has gone because so I want to do it. I'm choking you, right? So like as I'm doing this. I'm going to throw my, my, I'm not using right, right, my arm Here. over the top of your shoulder. You might have to sink me down to try to get your arm over my shoulder. So just get the choke. So you should be that bad up. You should choke. Come out and I can Yeah, keep your body. Your head is right here. Everyone getting it? Right. Seems good. Yeah. Can we regret it? Okay. Make sure, because you're doing chokes, yeah. don't just say and tap, and actually and tap, and because you might not get the words out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to put pressure on you. Yeah. Let's 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 really think it's real. No, it's just for your own purpose. Same question. Let's think about it. So, so we're in the clinch right here. Yeah, right, right. So, so. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. First of all, I can tell you right now. Yeah. Stop. Work stop. Okay. Faster. Deeper? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I like that. You shouldn't raise your ground. Yeah. Don't raise your body. Sink. Okay. And use your hip. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Because like then I can get it. it. Yeah. So it's always. When you first came on, you were like this. Okay? I don't want you like this. So this, uh, I mean, this does come in here. This guy's going to do this, right? Like that you can pass that in real quick. What? Like, the traction coming so in about, yeah. and then if you can get this one, smaller, you that, general, like that's yeah. almost impossible. To is, get out of. Isn't this yeah. thing when I do this, I'm not going to no. lift up. No. I'm going to tighten. So, it oh, okay. So there's, so there's a quick variation of it. If you have it from here, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So let me know if I'm doing it correctly. Or you just you just leave that hand there. It just yeah. And just push it in. Reach reach around. Yeah. But a lot of times guys aren't yeah, 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 guys aren't used to passing their head. Yeah. So like a, a nice little drop which is just get rid of this and come here. This used to pass it, right? Now so pass. 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 All right, guys, we're gonna move on. We're gonna do um side control escape. We're gonna do a side control escape. Actually, no. Uh, I think it's a couple things down. Yep, side control. Shrimp escape. Shrimp. It's number 24, guys. We're going to do number 24, Shrimp Escape from Side Control. So we talked about side control before, how to control someone, right? You control their head. You make them look the other way. All right, now we're going to talk about escaping side control. Ugh. Side control, Jeff. Let's review the basics. What's good side control? His hand is under my, arm is under my head. He's grabbing my armpit or something, like with this hand. This hand, yeah. This hand is blocking my hip, this elbow here. Now, his shoulder is digging into my chin, right, and his knees, one knee is by my armpit, the other knee is at my hip. Now I am kind of, uh, what do you call it, stuck. So we're going to talk about how to get out of this. First thing, first thing, I need to get my elbows inside. Because right now I am exposed to arm locks and chokes because my arms are far away from me. So I want to come underneath this, put, uh, what I like to do is put my hand on the shoulder and frame. Other hand, elbow comes right on his hip. The hand does not need to be on his hip. In fact, it's better just keep your forearm right on his hip and then one right on his, like, kind of his shoulder. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it all in kind of like one fluid motion because if I break it down too slowly, well, side control is a position you can, you know, maneuver yourself to stay on top. So I'm going to try to do this a little quickly when I really want to do it. Number one, I bring my feet up. Now in side control, this is okay. In mount, you don't want to do this. 
until you're ready to go. Side control, you can kind of hang. You can block him from mounting you like this. It's OK to kind of have your knees up in side control. Okay. In fact, you kind of want to. You don't want to be like this, because then he'll mount. So in side control, you want to be here. Now, frame, frame, knees up. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to bridge and shrimp. I'm going to bridge into him. Now, when I bridge, it's always a 45 degree angle. I'm looking that way. So I'm going to bridge and shrimp. I take this foot off. I use this foot to move. So I go like this. Again, I bridge and put my knee in between us. See this? I have already escaped. This is all I need. I use this to push and square up. And I'm in guard. And then I'm going to try. And now he's in a noble plot. OK? So we're going to talk about escaping side control. This is extremely important. I'd say of everything on this list, this is probably one of the top three or four you should know. Because it combines bridging, shrimping, and squaring up to guard in one convenient move that is absolutely you're going to find yourself in, especially against that dude over there. So you're going to have to know how to get out of a good side control. Here, do the other side, so I'll show the other way. First things first, I've got to get my elbows away from danger. Frame, frame. Everyone cool? Frame, frame. Knees, knees. So now, see, I'm making myself smaller. Before, I'm, I'm obnoxious. I'm like a 14-year-old <laughs> with glasses and brain open. So anyway, <laughs> I, I was that. Anyway, I'm making myself small and connected. Now, I'm going to do twos at once. I'm going to bridge and shrink, get my knee in. That's all I want. See this? One knee, the bottom one, not the top one. If I put this top one in, he's going to take my back or mount. Leave this knee out. So this knee's in, this knee's out. I use this to just square myself up. Now no more side control. We're parallel. So now I can do whatever. I can start to wrap and wrap, and now we're in guard. Remember the safety position? So it all flows together. Let's try escaping side control, guys. Maybe we'll spend a little more time on this so everyone gets it, because it's two moves. It's bridge. It, without him, I'll show you. It looks like this. I'm, 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 I'm dead. I'm a mummy. Frame. Frame, knees, knees. So I'm just like this. Bridge, shrimp. That's it. And then with this knee in, just square yourself up. And if you kind of just, 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 just standing there, it's fine. If you want to wrap up the guard, or if you know how to stand in base, whatever you want to do. Let's do that for like a minute or two. Let's go to the bike. Oh, Kimura Armlock is next. There we go. Fun. Yeah, so, I'm going to have side control on you. So, zip. Right. Okay, so, remember you want to bridge. Bridge. Okay. All right, so, what do you want to do? Frame. Make sure you get pressure with this. Here. So, you're grabbing his shoulder here. Right? And this elbow. This press arm is pressed right under his chin. Do right? you want to keep it from being able to do this? Right. Really, if you want this to really elbow the structure, needs to be going here to by his push. So get your wrist out, here, like get this, your right elbows out. out. You see that? Just like this. Now you can bridge, bridge up. up. Yeah, bridge. but don't all the way over. Now, you slip your put your both your feet on the mat. I'm gonna, normally, I'm going to begin yeah. bridge and right. shrimp right. and get your bottom <laughs> knee in between you two. So frame, frame. Shrimp away. Frame. Exactly right. Now use this knee, keep it here. Push it here. Square up. Put the step in the mat. And then this. There you go. You're going to head route. Shrimp. Shrimp. No, shrimp. Shrimp in. No. Other way. Other way. Yeah, get this knee in. Just put it on me. Scoot yourself back here. Scoot it. Come in. Come in. Come in. Right. Straighten yourself out. Get up. Get guard. Get guard. Full guard. Wrap it off. And shrimp. And then pull me down like you did before for the guard yes. control. All right, uh, there you go. Yeah, keep that, keep that leg down on the yeah, ground. Keep that leg down. Down. Uh, you missed the warm-ups, didn't you? Yeah. 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 
Oh, yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's get, yeah, let's get your position correct. Okay. So get the elbow, get the knee open. This hand just wraps around, here on the shoulder, right. pull going, right? So you basically have your arm in its chest, right? Then stays on the mat. Also, can... Okay, now rotate yourself. Slide away from these guys. This hand here, this is your frame, right? Frame, frame. Now, if he's pressuring you like this, you can actually you stick your elbow out like this. See that? See that? So you're using the pressure here on your wrist. You can open up your elbow and you, you create some space here. Now you're going to bridge. Right? And then shrimp your hip back. Get your knee in. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you guys are all getting this, right? Yay. Any questions, guys? Okay. Can you help him get the side control on me? Yeah, yeah. All right. Right. Yeah, the better that frame is, the easier it's going to be for you to bridge and get space. Because what guys are going to try to do later? Because remember, what I'm trying to do is this one on the shoulder. This one I'm trying to drive this in. Not not not. You're not. That's perfect. Yes, you're not. And that one you have to do that too. Right. No, no, no. You're not too far off. Push it. Watch it. You can lift it up. Get this right. Now you bridge. Shrimp. Don't do a push of it. It's just creating enough space to bridge. If you're using a bridge, you're going to lift that up. It's like this. It's going to give you a pop, pop, zip, zip. Slide right in. It's this. Put it on the shoulder. All you have to do is extend. Yep, that's it. See that? Four. It's just leverage. Mm -hmm. so now you're going to bridge and face him. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to move on. Uh, what's next? A oh, Kimura arm lock from guard. This is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> A Kimura arm lock, guys. We're doing these. Guys, uh, the Kimura is named the Kimura um, because of the guy um, who defeated Hoist Gracie. Um, not even Hoist. It could have been Helio or one of the first Gracies. Helio, right? Uh, Kimura, this Japanese martial artist, defeated uh, Helio with this move. From standing, it's the reverse of the Americana. Remember the Americana where we were like this? We come in and we painted the mat. This is where his arm is the other way. So I come in, I grab, and I come over and I grab my wrist. Okay, this is very strong and very powerful. Also a self-defense, like, please use this. And I can move around the person, okay? But we're gonna do this from the guard, from the ground first. <laughs> so, from the guard, generally, if this guy knows what he's doing, he will never put his hands on the mat. It will always be on me. Yeah. 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 But yeah. just so I can, <laughs> as, as Jeff showed us for the purpose of this demonstration, yeah. I want to get his hands on the mat. Right? So, for this move, I want to get his hands, again, my way to get him on the mat, I swim in, I pray, and come out. Just pray to the Lord, whoever you pray to. <laughs> um, I pray to my little golf ball. That's what I pray on Sundays. But, no, I come up here, and I'm going to pray, and I'm going to get his hands on the mat. I'm going to pick a sock. I'm going to grab his wrist. I'm going to come up over his shoulder... I'm gonna, I mean, you can even break your feet if you want. Just come up and grab over it. Sit back down, wrap up. Everyone look at this, look at this closely. This is key. 